All right, everyone, welcome back. If you are new here, I'm Michael Daigler. I help you leverage AI for your content processes, whether it's automations, repurposing, workflows, all the good stuff. I have a school where you can go join and I teach people how to do this every single week. Now, what I'm gonna be going over today is an automation I created with make.com and what prompted this was actually a tweet by Beehive because they have now recently announced that they are giving one-time payments. And so I thought, hey, you know what? Maybe I want to sell something through my newsletter, and I now am excited because I can do it with a one-time payment, but I have no ideas. What could I do? Well, that is what we are going to go over today. In this video, you are going to learn how to create this automation from start to finish. And what it does essentially is it's going to scrape your Beehive newsletter. We're going to run it through a few different prompts, and then we're going to generate five different author ideas that you could potentially use and sell through Beehive natively based on the content that you've already written. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to first look at the make automation, then I will show you what it looks like when we are saving this information to Airtable, and then I will show you what email we get back. Okay, all right. So let's just do a quick little auto align here, a little magic magic. Um, Let's, let's high level go over what's going on. So what we're doing here is we're watching our drop form that we created, which you saw right here, it has these three fields. And then we are going to save that information to Airtable, which is what will give us this. So you see I have a couple examples and I will show you this again once we're all the way through. And here, this is where we are using the Appify website content crawler. So if you're not familiar, let me quickly show you what Appify is and where you can find this specific actor. All right, so here we are, we're on Appify and Appify is essentially a platform that lets you build or use reliable web scrapers. So you can use these in your automations. And the one that I am going to be using is the website content crawler, which is by Appify. So when you are using this automation, feel free to use this one. You can try other ones if you want, but I will drop a link to this specific one in the description below. Now that we have that out of the way, let's go back to the make automation and keep going. Okay, so here you see that we are using the website content crawler. I'm saying run synchronously. And all of this input JSON, this may look like a lot, but to be honest, you can go and find this in the Appify platform when you run it through the web console. So if you want to test this out, you can go there and Watch this. Right here, you see how there's JSON. Click that and you can copy and paste all of this. And so is it all necessary? I don't think so. I have just had a habit of doing this, so that is why I have copy and pasted in all of this stuff. The next thing we're doing is we are setting a delay. And so if you go to the tools, if you search tools on the make modules, you can see there's a sleep function. And so that is what we are using here. And once we do that, we have this router and we're going to go in order from top, middle to bottom. So let's start at the top and let's see what we're doing. So up here, this all is just making a loop and waiting for the actor to be done. So you'll remember that once we created our Airtable uh, record and then we are starting the scrape of the actual URL. We're delaying for 120 seconds and assuming that that should be enough time for most jobs to be completed. But if it is not, we're going to repeat the cycle of sleeping and only set a delay for five seconds over here and wait for the actor to be completely finished. And once we've confirmed that the Appify actor has been completed, we will get all data set items here using the default data set ID we're going to aggregate and then iterate over all of those items and then save them into the scraped content table that we have in Airtable. And all we're, we're doing is we are just saving the raw content and then we are saving the record ID. Now that we have all of that, what we're doing is we are searching for all records in the scraped content table that have an associated newsletter record ID that is equal to the newsletter record ID that we created. And I can go into Airtable and show you exactly what I mean, just to make sure that you understand. 
So in our Airtable, this is the newsletter table, which is where we are saving the submissions from the Jot form. And you can see right here, I have a function called newsletter record ID. This is essentially just me calling the record ID function that is native to Airtable. So now we can explicitly see the record ID of each newsletter that was submitted through the Jot form. And on the scraped content side, I have a linked record here. And so what we have is we're going to have this associated newsletter record ID, which is a lookup field from the linked record. So if you go in here, add lookup fields, this is where you would turn on different ones. So you'll see that I already have the newsletter record ID added here. And the reason I do that is so now when I'm filtering back in the make automation to search for all records that are from the same newsletter that was submitted, we can pull all of those and not worry about pulling in somebody else's. And so once we have all of the records, we are going to go back and I will show you this other tool in the module, in the tool modules that we use where we can combine text. And so here's where we're going to combine text. And what I'm doing is basically pulling all of the scraped content every single record from every post that we got back, taking the raw content and then just putting it all in one big text. And so now what we're doing is we're going to be using the Anthropic module to help generate the offer ideas that we can then send back to the person that submitted the form. And so as you can see, here's the prompt, you are an expert offer builder and to deeply understand how to bridge people's brand and content into unique and compelling offers they could make based on their content. Please review the scraped newsletter content of our client below with the scraped content tags just to denote specifically what text it should be looking at, and then write out a list of five offers you could create to promote and sell in their newsletter based off of the content. Return the offers in the following format. Format, and then just an example of offers. Offer one, the name, the description, and the reasoning. And so right here I have a ChatGPT module, just a slight, slight touch because I wanted to make sure that we only got the offers back and sometimes Claude can say, hey, sure, yes, let's come up with the offers and then put that in there. And that's not really something I wanted to have and you'll see why in a second because we're going to be sending these offers directly to the person after they're saved to Airtable. So I have no time to go back and edit these offers and I don't want them to see, yes, here's the offers and then list the offers because it's just kind of weird. Unprofessional, you know? Um, and that's pretty much it. After that, we are saving the newsletter offer ideas to the and saving it with the associated record ID. And now I will show you the automation in Airtable that's happening, which is actually going to email us this offer list. Okay, so what we're doing is we're saying when a record is created in the newsletter offer ideas table, which is over here, so you already got some. We are going to say if the offer ideas is not empty, which you'll see right here is that. And if your email from the associated newsletter value is not empty, so this is basically saying if there's an email to send this to and has already received ideas from the associated newsletter, and if that is no, and the reason I'm doing that is so somebody cannot spam me with the same email and run me up a bill. And look, you can see right here, here's the input, offer ideas, email, and we're going to send a Gmail with this message. So you have to connect your Gmail account. If you don't have it already, you can just say connect to your Gmail account like this. I'm not going to do that uh, because I already have it connected. And then we are going to say the two is the your email value, which is going to be these right here. And then the subject line, you know, you can you can play around with this. I just made it the name of the newsletter that they submitted in the form and AI generated offer ideas. And then the message, hey there, your offer ideas have been cooked and they are ready to be reviewed. If you want to learn to leverage AI for your content in cool ways like this, consider joining my school to take your AI and content game to the next level. So yes, this is also another reason why I wanted to make this is because I think this is a very cool lead magnet because 
I'm providing actual value for them. I'm saving them time. I'm giving them good ideas. It's based off their content. The context is Beehive just launched this, so this is a new thing. And yeah, so I wanted to promote the school. And by the way, you can go check it out. Link is in description. But enough preamble, here's the ideas. And then the offer ideas, we add those. And then that is essentially how the automation works. Now, the last couple things I want to show you is I want to show it to you in action. And I also want to show you how I'm connecting the job form and creating that in the first place, because I think that is also something that we need to go over. Okay, so if you go to JotForm, you literally just have to go and start with a blank template. It's not that hard to start these. All I'm doing is I'm adding a title, I'm adding a few text inputs, and then I have a few hidden fields, which I will show you how I'm doing that right now. All you do is you just right click, then you're going to say hide. I have it as show because it was hidden already. So I would just say hide and in the properties right there, default value, jot form. And so I'm just adding a UTM source and a UTM campaign. So I know because this is the first sort of lead magnet like this I'm going to do, but I may want to do other kinds in the future. And just having that information I think is going to be pretty helpful. Moving on though, we also need to know how we are actually triggering, triggering, whee, how we are triggering this jot form. So you show the address right here. So again, I'm going to just say, look, you look up jot form. You're gonna look for watch for submissions. And right here, you're going to choose a hook. I already have one, but you can add another. And so I'm not going to do it right now because I already have this set up. But basically, you're going to take this webhook, you're going to go back to your jot form, you're going to go to settings, you're going to go to integrations, webhooks, you're going to search for webhooks, and you, I've already had this uh, like ready. So I'm just going to edit the integration. And right here, you're just going to add the webhook, and you're going to paste it right here. And so if you're using Beehive right now, and you have some ideas, I will drop this form in the description as well so you can have it for you to get more ideas that you could potentially offer to your audience. And now the last thing before I sign off is I'm going to show a demo of this because I think this would only make it right if we show the actual thing. So first I'm just going to remove my newsletter because it won't work right now if it's already been marked as has already received the ideas and I will get back to you and we will just show you from start to finish how this process looks like in real time. Okay, so here we are. Look at that, we already have filled out. I'll just type it for real this time. It is build, learn, earn. You can check it out at buildlearnearn.beehive.com and we are going to use my email and submit. So thank you, your email is on its way. Okay, so we're getting the jot form here and we are creating the Airtable record. So again, there it is. And right now we are just sleeping for 60 seconds, so perhaps I will speed this up a little bit and come back to you when it is all said and done. I just wanted to show you what it looks like from start to finish and also show you where we get the email. So I will get back to you when it is finally complete. Alright, so as you can see we are almost done. We are just generating the ideas and then all we have to do is add this to the Airtable and then I should get an email in my inbox with those ideas listed out for myself. Smaller, please. There we go. We have offer one, mental agility mastery course, reasoning. The newsletter content heavily focuses on importance of developing mental agility, navigate the uncertainties of AI-driven future. I do talk about that. AI branding bootcamp. We have the content repurposing automation playbook, and we have the human AI co-creation community, and then we have ideation with AI con consultation. The newsletter provides an effective AI-assisted ideation prompt that many readers will want to try. Some would pay a premium for hands-on help adapting this approach to their specific niche and workflow. And that's the video, guys. If you liked it, then please drop a like, drop a comment. If you're not subscribed, subscribe already. And if you'd like to see how I made this automation in more detail, ask more questions. If you join my school, I have a weekly automation call every Friday where I go over all the automations that I do with the community. We get feedback, we get answers, and we come up with new ones to do for the next week. So if that is of interest to you, please join the school. And till next time, much love and peace, y'all.